Hello everybody, Dr. F. Scott Feel here, and I'd like to introduce you to our newest sponsor. The NPTE Final Frontier is the review course that I wish was around when I took the board exam. For those of you who know my story, it took me a handful of times to pass that exam, and quite frankly, I really wish I had an, a, an exam review course around, uh, just like the NPTE Final Frontier. Uh, check out their website, NPTEFF.com, and use the code HET at checkout for 10% off to all of our listeners and fans. Hey, y'all. It's Farley Schweigert with another Teach Me Something Tuesday tip. We have found in our PTA program that students are very challenged with learning how to self-assess. Often we have, in the in the recent last few years, we've had a lot of younger students. We've even had students that got all of their prereqs, or most of them, in uh, high school. And so they were they were starting the PTA program at the end of what would be their freshman year of college and how that timeline worked out. So they were not as versed in self-assessment. And one of the challenges in the PTA program is the amount of time we have to do everything. So we started implementing a self-assessment day one, and it was three little questions. When I'd give a quiz, I would have them get out a notebook piece of paper and I'd have them write down one, two, three in the date. And the first question was, what grade do you expect to make on this quiz? And then afterwards, after we'd do the quiz and they would get their uh, grades back because it was on a Socrates uh, or Blackboard and they would get immediate feedback of their score, I'd have them, number two is, what grade did you actually make? And then the question number three, what will you change in your studying or provide evidence of what worked? And another important thing to answer question number three is that study more or study better or study harder were not acceptable answers. I talked a lot about providing actual evidence of what, of either the amount of time, how they studied, what they studied, but the words study better or more or harder are not acceptable because there is no quantification to that. And so in their first semester, we spent a lot of time going through this and going through their self-assessments. And this seemed to help, especially our younger students, and starting to learn how to do that because as you well know we have a lot of self self assessment throughout the curriculum whether you're in DPT or PTA and we can't expect our students to be good at self assessing if we don't allow them to practice and help guide them through self assessing i found this year as being DCE when they got to their first set of clinicals it seemed to go a lot smoother filling out the CPI and students did not were not nearly as bogged down and challenged in having to do that rigorous self-assessment. So just a little tip to help start practicing because as we well know, we can't expect our students to be good or entry level or excellent at something that we haven't introduced and helped guided them through that practice. So I hope that helps on this Teach Me Something Tuesday tip. Have a great day.